So that's the current state of the Chinese economy. Its recovery is still a long shot. India, on the other hand, is a sharp contrast. It is the world's fastest growing major economy and the bull run in the Indian market seems unstoppable. Indian stocks are witnessing a record rally. Both the Sensex and the Nifty have touched new highs and this rally may not end anytime soon. Foreign investors are buying into Indian companies. They're making bets worth billions of dollars. Now, this could be an outcome of a decision made by the American Central Bank last week. We're talking about the U.S. Federal Reserve, better known as the U.S. Fed. The Fed slashed interest rates. And this was their first rate cut since 2020, the first in four years. And what happens when a rate cut is announced? When a central bank cuts interest rates, it increases the flow of money into the economy, so loans become cheaper. And that makes investing in debt less attractive. Think of the loans taken out by governments or the borrowing by the private sector. They issue bonds to raise money. When interest rates are high, investors make more money by buying these bonds because the interest rate is high. But when the rates fall, it makes bonds less appealing. The return on investment from these bonds drops and no investor likes that. So they start moving their money. Some turn to, to the stock market. They invest in stocks for better returns. This could explain the influx of foreign money into the Indian markets. Foreign investors have more cash in hand. The bonds are looking less attractive, so they're buying shares of Indian companies. And it makes sense. Indian markets continue to make gains. They're delivering better returns than their global peers. Take the Nifty, for example. This is an index of India's top 50 companies. Nifty's one-year returns stand at 25% which means if you put 100 rupees into the nifty, your investment will grow to 125 rupees. That's a profit of 25 rupees. Now compare this to the American markets, like the S&P 500. It's the index of America's top 500 companies. And what's the one-year return of S&P 500? 22%. So 25% versus 22%. Clearly, Indian markets are giving superior returns. And that is why the world is turning to Indian stocks. But that's just one side of the story. Not everyone is making money in this market. A large segment of investors is losing millions, if not billions of rupees. We're talking about the retail investors in India. Those who invest in complex instruments like futures and options. They're called derivatives. India's market regulator has done a study about these derivatives. The regulator is SEBI, the Securities and Exchange Board of India. It's the market watchdog. It looked into investments made by 11 million retail traders. These are individual traders, people like you and me, those who invest directly in the stock market. 11 million. These traders bought derivatives and suffered big losses. In the last three years, they have lost over 1.8 lakh crore rupees. That's over $20 billion in losses in the last three years. $20 billion. There are more staggering findings from the study. Most traders suffer a loss in these trades. 93 out of 100 retail traders made a loss. 93 out of 100. On average, each lost more than 1 lakh rupees. That's more than $1,000. And what is the profile of these traders? Who are these people? 76% of them earn less than 5 lakh rupees in a year. That's over $5,000. Nearly half of them are below 30 years of age, and more than 70% of them come from small towns of India. What does this data tell you? Young investors with limited incomes and small savings are betting in the market, and they're suffering heavy losses. Any expert would tell you that these are not sound investments. Trading in derivatives is different from buying stock. These investments have a high risk. When you buy a stock, you're purchasing shares at a current, its current market price. The number you can see on your trading screen. Derivative trading is like making a prediction. You predict the future value of a share and then you make a bet. Clearly, most of these investors are making the wrong bets. And this is not investment, really. This is gambling. More and more Indians are falling prey to this. They're attracted to the markets by the current rally but they end up suffering losses. SEBI is now trying to protect these investors. It plans to introduce strict rules for trading in the derivatives market, and we say it is the need of the hour.